Hi there. I'm here with Noah. Uh, we got the Proof Snowland deck in today and we gave it a test run and Noah was very pleased with his results. Um, we tested out my Significator system. Here's a little quick sneak peek of the Significator cards. You can't actually see those unless you're in the Secret Snowland blog, which you get automatically when you order our deck. But I've created a sole GPS system where I have the querent or the seeker, the person getting the reading, pick one of the four cards that Ron has made under my direction and to uh, reflect how they feel at the time. And I tested it on Noah and tell everybody what your reaction was. <laughs> well, the cards, um, they're great. What did you say about, are you FBI or CIA? Tell them what you said. Well, I meant the sarcasm because, uh, because why? Because, uh, because I, um, well, um, had this reading card, and I knew about how I felt around with this one card, that it was empty emptiness. I actually don't got friends here, just my mom, dad, and Stuart. Um, Stuart's the tabby cat, by the way. He's our orange cat. Yes. Um, so mom um, gave me a reading saying that that was lonely because my parents were busy. We've been really busy with the launch the last week and haven't spent as much time with them as we usually do. Yeah, that's business. It is. Go ahead. Okay. And, um, well, I don't know what else to say. I didn't expect you to be so personal. Yeah, he, I, um, he picked the card. And see, the Soul GPS, the, the Significators, was really given to me, I feel, by something beyond myself. And um, the card he picked, I feel the one of the four cards that you pick is almost serves as a magnet or almost an electron where it picks up where you're, you're um, wanting. And so I'm able to tell with the four cards that I'm going to teach everybody who orders our deck and belongs to the secret blog how to use this for querents or themselves, the four significator cards, to kind of get a soul GPS location on their uh, querent or a secret or themselves. And they don't necessarily have to divulge the information, especially if a querent um, doesn't say what's wrong. And they just say, well, I just want a general reading. Ask them to pick one of the four and you'll know where they're at and it worked with Noah to the point if you don't mind me being personal he agreed I asked him I'm not twisting his arm on this I was like is this okay um, but he got tears in his eyes and he was very moved and he said are you CIA are you FBI how are you in my head um, because the card that he picked is the one that um, I designed and I know means that um, there was a sense of emptiness or a sense of needing emotional connection feeling like your love tank is kind of empty or a sense of loneliness on a path. He's been doing a lot of homework this week and Ron and I have been busy so we haven't been um, together doing a lot of family stuff that we normally do and so I was able to hone in on that based on the card he picked. And he was really shocked and surprised and moved by it. And I says, I also understand too, no, because that's the card I would be picking right now. And then I explained some of my situation and I explained the significator system to him, like what it would meant if he would have picked one of the other cards or a querent would. And I was um, trying to decode my, my system for him to, to demystify it because it does seem like magic. And then um, I shuffled the deck and asked him to pick a card um, how he could best deal with this right now, you know, um, how best to deal with feeling the emotional emptiness and the needing to connect or wanting to connect with his parents. But we, you know, we've been kind of busy doing things with the lodge and what have you, and he's been busy um, catching up on homework. And what card do you drew? Did you draw? Do you remember? No oh, ball. Oh yeah, well that was a significator. But what card did you pick? Oh, you picked Lucia. Yes. It was interesting, and that um, corresponds to the Queen of Wands, and that's kind of like my card and so of course you know it was kind of re reaffirmation that I want to help Noah with his feelings of loneliness and being alone and needing his love tank filled you know by doing the tarot reading and of course you know we're spending more time um, later this week you know as we wrap up some things that we really needed to do but also uh, Lucia reminded us both of an Arthur's Christmas video where they highlight Santa Lucia as part of Christmas festivals and interestingly um, a part that came to me is when they celebrate Baxter Day. It's when Bunny Buster Baxter, who doesn't have his, a dad around, uh, he has divorced parents, 
his he and his mom are spending time and his mom's really worried about the son so it was really an interesting reflection um, of the card and what you know no picked for a significator and um, how the son and the mother made up their own holiday they called it Baxter Day um, right before Christmas and Noah you know honed in on when they talked about Lucia herself Santa Lucia and the Swiss holiday um, and celebrations and it's interesting too that that is also very family oriented it's where I think the youngest or the oldest girl comes in and serves the parents breakfast and of course the young girls pray through town you know there's a lead with the candles and her um, on our head and the star boys and what have you so again it's very famil familial and love tank and celebratory and um, so it really reflected and prescribed you know how to best deal with that and um, I had felt the same way I would have picked the snowball myself the snowball significator and so I picked a card for me and it was very accurate and I explained to Noah uh, well actually Noah interpreted it that's right um, Noah picked the card and I asked him to interpret it and um, it's a little bit personal I don't really want to get into it it's something that happened online and hurt hurt my feelings and um, just petty and silly and stupid you know people and <laughs> a person in particular and he picked what is the equivalent of the ten of swords or um, the ten mental card and which shows the fireman and the ice man shaking hands and he said you know it reminds me of the Civil War you know and how they were basically brothers you know um, but at core they're the same you know and I felt moved by that and I just took it metaphysically to mean you know we're all really brothers and sisters even people who we perceive as enemies um, who, who even act like our enemies that at core we're all brothers and sisters and once we get to the other side and the day new day dawns we're gonna kinda shake you know shake hands and say oh well played you know your part and um it helped me rem it reminded me that um, human relationships are funny fickle things and they're not necessarily a reflection of bad or good or, or negative or positive it's sometimes a soul path and you know to be more spiritually minded so in short, Snowland deck works and it works beyond our expectations. Um, the cards are, are beautiful. They're thick, but they're flexible. Look at this. See that? They're flexible, but they're sturdy. And I love that. We've shuffled them already. There's no fraying. There's been no fraying of our um, Majors Only deck either, like, you know, like the cheap Llewellyn decks, or they start to fray and come apart. Um, so it's flexible, but they're thick and very colorful. It's backwards because I didn't do mirror image, so the layering's not. Um, so you can see, hi, Stuart. Stuart's cat saying hi to everyone. You can see the difference in the backing. I don't know. Our lighting's kind of crappy here in our dining room, but this is significantly lighter than this. And of course, this would be an S, not a backward S. But again, I don't like doing mirror image because I can't get my orientation right <laughs> when I'm holding things up. So, um, we also want to share with you how this deck can be used for kids. It's 100% kid friendly and kid safe. They're not scary images. Um, they're easily relatable. They're good for storytelling, um, fostering communication, as you can see with me and Noah. Um, uh oh, Stuart wants to come up. Go ahead, Stuart. You want to come and say hi to everybody? Come on. Here he goes. All right, Stuart's jumping up in his lap. Say hi, Stuart. You want to make your debut? Come on. You want to smile and say hi? Dutch Stuart. Dutch baby Stewie. We love you, buddy. Okay, so would you like to share with people how you feel that kids could use the Snowland deck from your own words and your own experience? Mr. Noah. Well, mm, yes. Go ahead, tell them. <laughs> um, mm, Just in well, your own words, how do you think that you know kids could use this deck? Well, they could use this deck as, um, well, well, say this. Um, suppose a kid is depressed and needs a mm, card reading. Well, it will mm -mm, be used mm -mm, yes, for inspiring them, but there's no, mm -mm, no sadness or um, anything mm -mm, well bad or anything You made me cry, buddy. <clears throat> I don't know why. Um. And, uh, well... <laughs> Well, because it's moving when you make a creation yes and your own son says that it could help kids that are depressed become healed and overcome it yes <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Oh god, I'm such a softie. Son of a gun. We are. Right, yeah, do... well, all the warriors are big softies. Yes. And, you know, interestingly, and I've never shared this publicly, but I'm going to go ahead and share it now. Um, when I was a Pentecostal minister and I first re met Ron about 15 years ago, I used to do prophecies. I was kind of like a Christian John Edward, and I give people prophecies, these scary, accurate things. And not too long after Ron and I were married, and we had married only after being knowing each other for six weeks. It's just one of those, you know, neat soulmate things. But um, I had a prophecy for him that one day um, people would just look at his art and become healed. And he wasn't really doing active art. He wasn't doing anything spiritual or metaphysical at the time. Um, I also said I felt we were going to collaborate in some way. I wasn't even a writer at that point. He wasn't even active in art. I would have never have touched tarot deck. <laughs> and so now I, we, we're realizing, oh my God, this is the fruition of that prophecy that occurred like 14 years ago. That people would look at the art and be healed. Because the symbolism that we've embedded in these images that are universal to tarot and um, mythology and fairy tales are what touches our soul and it is what reflects our life path and, and where we're at and I am just being moved and touched by these um, I did another reading for myself that was just very clear and instantly I knew what it meant and not just because I know the images very well either um, and, and it's a beautiful colorful moving healing deck and I think it's going to touch a lot of people so um, I didn't expect to get emotional like this but I wanted to share it with you um, from a kid's point of view of how it could touch you know it can help facilitate communication between parent and child or for kids that maybe don't um, they don't express themselves easily um, for a developmental delay or just because they're not very verbal or what have you or they have a hard time expression, emo expressing emotion have them look through the deck and say, can you pick a card to tell me how you feel? Or um, when you get our deck and you're part of our Snowland Explorers Password Protected Secret Club, I'll show you how to do the significator system, and that'll actually help you zone in right away. And then you can take a prescriptive tarot card reading. Um, and so it could be used for kids for, from therapists. Therapists can use it. Um, art teachers, art therapists. Um, Parents and educators who work with um, autistic children, those on the spectrum, um, children who are, have chronic or terminal illness. Um, there are many ways, you know, that these colorful, beautiful um, images. Oh, I just happened to pick a card randomly. And what do I pick? The card that Noah modeled for. There is the snow angel. He's playing in the snow and he's hearing a higher calling. He's got to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Mm. We all have our calling, and yes, one of moved. That's all. I am unmoved, and our snowland <laughs> support of our higher calling. <sighs> Didn't intend to do that. Sorry. Anyway, I want to show you our pretty bags. <laughs> I want to pick up all my stuff together. <laughs> oh, I saw the charms on it, and um, I left a message for our seamstress to get back to me. She hasn't got back to me yet, but she's got to make another batch of 30 bags. I've ran out, and um, I have enough to fill all the orders. But isn't that beautiful? I don't know if you can see the sparklies. Well, you can see the sparkly charm. And they hold our deck really nicely. And you can pick one of three fabrics. Yeah. It's double draw drawstring. So see? Look how nice. Ta da! And you get one of three fabrics. This is the light blue. This is the royal blue with silver snowflakes. This is Mr. Ron's favorite. And this is the gorgeous ivory brocade. Brocade, brocade I don't know how that's pronounced, but. I don't know if you can see it's really thick and beautiful. So you also get that when you order the Snowland deck, one of our three bags. And so, sorry to break down emotionally. I'm just spiritually touched and overwhelmed. Seeing this uh, deck in our hands and seeing how moved I am by it. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to touch and use another tarot deck. <laughs> totally in love with it. So, um, any final words, Noah? Well, I don't can't think of anything, but... <laughs> Sorry. Well, I don't know. But you like the deck? Yes. Okay.
Yeah. I'm glad that you got a reading today that resonated with you and it helped you. Do you feel better emotionally, by the way? Do you feel like your love tank now is filled up since we talked and had the reading? Well, yes. Excellent. So Snowland Deck did its job. So again, I'm Janet Boyer. Um, get your own deck at snowlanddeck.com. Thank you to my wonderful son, Noah, for joining me and being um, a guinea pig <laughs> and uh, getting the personal reading and being willing to share it. So you want to tell everybody bye-bye? Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.